Today we'll be showing you how to fix the uh, keyboard freezing error that some of y'all are experiencing um, after jailbreaking uh, 1.3. Uh, what you want to do is um, downgrade to version 1.1.1. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. Um, one way is by holding the uh, power button and your uh, home button down together for 10 seconds. And after the 10th second you let go of your power button but continue to hold your home button until it uh, connects to iTunes. Um, make sure that you're plugged in and that iTunes is open. Um, the other way is the way that I'm going to do it today is the uh, auto down way. Um, if you go to my website and download the uh, auto downgrade and then uh, extract it. Um, what you want to do is uh, double click the uh, down file it's going to tell you to exit iTunes and kill the iTunes help from Task Manager. So if you have iTunes open, um, close it. Then you'll click Alt, Control, Delete. Go to the uh, win Windows uh, Task Manager. You want to scroll down and find uh, the iTunes helper and then uh, end that process. Um, I don't have it running right now, but go ahead and go through that step. Now it's going to ask you just to click uh, Enter the Continue, so we'll do that. It's going to tell you it's entering recovery mode. Run a couple of codes, and this will uh, put your iPod into uh, the DFU mode or the device firmware upgrade mode. So let's tell it. See, now that it's asking you to plug it in, and uh, once you see that iTunes screen or connect to iTunes screen, click uh, any key to continue. So we'll just click Enter. That will close at this point. You're going to uh, open up iTunes again. So at this point, it's going to come up telling you this, giving you this message, click OK. All I'm going to do is hold the Shift key and then click Restore. Just down, hold the Shift, click Restore. You want to um, restore to 1.1.1, uh, click Open. Um, I'll come back once this part's done. Finish restoring, I'm going to click OK. You can see the uh, iPod's booting up. And uh, asking you to make sure you're plugged in, which I am. Never unplugged it. And it should connect any second now. You just heard that little beep. You can see uh, that's back on. It should be popping up over here. Yep, there it is. Okay, now it should ask you if you want to restore or set up as a new iPod. But the first thing you want to do is go into your iPod. Slide to unlock. You go into settings. You're going to want to set up your Wi Fi again. Okay. Go to other. Um, I'm going to pause the video while I set up my Wi Fi and I'll come back when it's done. So at this point, um, you can pause the video and then uh, just set up your Wi Fi as well. After you set up your Wi Fi, uh, you want to make sure that um, you have your HTTP proxy uh, set to off to uh, check to make sure that it's off go to settings Wi-Fi and then click on this little blue arrow and then um, scroll down towards the bottom and just make sure that's set to off now you want to go back to your uh, settings go back to uh, so you go into general and then uh, auto lock set that to never Hit the home button. Okay, now you can go back to iTunes. I'm sure you want to do at this point is uh, not restore from a backup. You're going to want to set up as a new iPod. You click on set up as a new iPod and continue. Now you can uh, type in whatever name you want, but you want to uncheck automatically sync songs to my iPod. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the name now. And then uh, click done. Okay, 
Okay, on this part you also want to uncheck uh, open iTunes when this iPod is connected. And now at this point, I want to click apply. So that way it'll apply all the changes that you just made. And after you click apply, now you can go ahead and uh, sync up your iPod. Um, and uh, once your iPod is uh, done syncing, which shouldn't take long since you don't have any music or anything on there, uh, now you can uh, upgrade and jailbreak your way back up to uh, 1.0.3. Um, just watch my videos on how to upgrade and jailbreak 1.0.2 and 1.0.3. Um, but without doing these few little steps, um, it will freeze your uh, keyboard for some of y'all. Um, I've never had any of these issues with it freezing or anything, but I did some research and found that this, uh, going through these few steps, uh, fixes that. Um, so just let me know if it works for you or not, because um, I don't have that issue, so I can't really test it, um, but I just wanted to show y'all how to do it. Uh, don't forget to check out my website.